she shoots and she scores. I am so excited. I haven't had a pickle today. This is literally my first pickle of the day. So cheers, everybody. Welcome to Pickle Talk. I'm not gonna reach all the way over there to cheers you, but I am cheers you, I promise. Crunch level, 900. It's perfect. We are actually checking out a crazy story that I came across on the internet. I only read the headline and that was enough where I was like, yep, I wanna read this and I wanna get the opinions of the people. Apparently a husband chose to watch football while his wife was in labor. That's all I know, cause that's what the title was. So we are going to do it and get through it today. I'm so excited for this tea. So this was a post on Reddit. Am I the a-hole? for telling my in-laws exactly where my husband was when I was in labor. Now this story literally made like a news headline. Like it was, a, it was a totally different article off of Reddit when I saw it. I gave birth to my son 10 weeks ago. I went through exhausting period while I was nearing my due date. I was experiencing discomfort and wanted my husband by my side when I go into labor, but he'd go out every night to hang out at his friend's place and watch football games. I already have an opinion about this and it's not in favor of the husband. I suggested he play slash watch games at home just in case, there's a thought, but he was having none of it and said he had to attend game night at his brother and friend's place along with his buddies. He said they had certain, how can I describe it? Rituals. Sounds like your husband is an eight year old that needs to grow up. When watching a game and he can't enjoy it doing it at home or anywhere else. Y'all, I'm already so annoyed. I'm already so annoyed by this. The night of our son's birth, my water broke while my husband was at his buddy's place watching a game. I called him and told him to get home and take me to the hospital. He said he was coming, but he didn't. I ended up calling my sister, she lives nearby, and she took me to the hospital. My oh my God. My husband showed up two hours later. Two hours later. So you, call, let me get this straight, you call him. Bing, bing, bing. Hi, I'm in labor. I need you to come take me to the hospital to give birth to our child. And um, he says, okay, I'm coming. And shows up two hours, he finished the football game. He finished the football game. My husband showed up two hours later after he kept calling, asking if I was still in labor and that he was almost done watching the game. He was able to make it on time for our son's birth, but I was furious with him, mad and disappointed. All valid. He apologized profoundly and has been working on regaining my trust and respect for him after what he's done. He's otherwise very supportive and involved in our son's care. I don't know how much I believe about that. Last night I was at my in-law's house for dinner and we were talking about my son's birth date. My husband started recalling what happened that night and basically started lying about driving me to the hospital, waiting and feeling stressed out, and standing on his feet for so long without food or even water. I was confused. I said, no, none of this was true. None of this happened, in fact. He was watching a game when I went into labor and I wanted him to drive me to the hospital, but he didn't show up until two hours later. I think his parents deserve to know the son that they raised. They should know what he's doing. My mother-in-law who takes no schnapp from anybody and whom everyone fears lost it on him, yelling, asking him if that was true and he kept quiet because she's a mom. She gets it, she knows. She knows what that process is like and how the man should be there. She started berating him left and right, telling him to sit down and shut up and when he stood up to argue, then told him to stand up when he was sitting arguing. <laughs> I would pay to see that. Everyone was laughing at how she basically treated him as if he was a boy in trouble. Well, he was a boy in trouble. She kept saying, shame, shame, shame on you. This is not how I raise my treather. This is not how I raise my children to treat their wives. Jordan, you are a disgrace and I'm disappointed because of what I heard about you. He literally swallowed every bit of his mother's berating and didn't say anything till we got home where he went nuts saying, I made him look neglectful. No, 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 no. I didn't have to make you look neglectful. You did that for yourself by neglecting. Mm-hmm. By choosing a football game over your wife in labor. A bad husband and a bad father by telling the family about where he was and said I shouldn't have said anything 
But I argued it wasn't okay for him to lie and play hero in front of his parents. He said I caused a rift between him and family and asked if I was happy now. Am I the a-hole? Should I have not said anything? Edit to say that he's done similar things in the past since he's a major enthusiast of football and hockey, but I didn't expect it to get to that. Also, this is not our first baby together. We have a four-year-old son. I need to know your opinions on this, you guys. I think it's clear what mine are. I'm furious. It's the most immature, childish, disrespectful story I might have ever heard. It's so ridiculous. Like, it's like so stupid that it's irritating. I'm irritated for you. He's a grown... I would expect this from a 12-year-old to be like, oh, I don't want to leave the football game though, mom. I'm giving, excuse me, I've carried our child for nine months and now I'm pushing it out my hole. And you're complaining about not missing your, like about missing your football game. I'm so annoyed. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. Is she the a-hole? Did she need to tell her family? I would have done the same thing. I would have done the same thing. I would do it all over again too. We do have some comments on the Reddit post of other people's opinions. We're gonna go through a few just to gauge what the audience was thinking. First opinion, not the a-hole. Your husband thought a football game was more important than you being in labor. He looked like a neglectful husband and father because he was being neglectful. If he wants people to think better of him, then he should change his behavior. Yelling at you shows he's not sorry and would rather blame you than accept the consequences of his actions. I didn't even think about that. Oh my God, I didn't even think about the fact, like did he, he didn't even apologize to you instead of that night, the night of the parents. He just started yelling at you and got mad at you. You did this. You, your actions led us here. What are you talking about? I'm just being honest about it. <laughs> That's hilarious. So they took a blurb of what she wrote in her post and they wrote, that's a weird way to spell ex-husband, the truth hurts. What I'm getting from that is that they're saying this should be your ex-husband. Not the a-hole lying about what he did in public undoes all the apologizing he did in private. He is not taking full responsibility for his actions. Absolutely, because if he was, he would have told his parents the truth and he would have said, I was actually a d that day and I chose to watch a football game over my wife being in labor. That's what he should have said if he was genuinely sorry and actually took responsibility. Next. Not the a-hole, you said that he's working on regaining your trust, but by lying about his refusal to be there for you, he took a major step back in his attempt to be more trustworthy. Your mother-in-law is awesome though, your husband got exactly what he deserved. I don't even know how I would forgive my husband, y'all. Like, I get it. That's your husband. That ain't your boyfriend. Y'all are committed for life, marriage, already have a kid, second baby's here. I get it. You're like, well, we got to work through it and I got to forgive you. But me? How do people forgive that kind of stuff? I would be so mad for so long. <laughs> I would never forget that. And that memory would be like tied to the birth of that child, you know? Not the a-hole. He's mad because he got caught by mommy being a bad husband. Good on you for calling him out. Next, not the a-hole, didn't want to look bad, shouldn't have done bad. Although that's a good motto of life. Don't want to look bad, don't do bad. That's not grammatically correct, but I like it. I think it's safe to say majority are in vote of not the a-hole, the only a-hole here is your husband. And that is what I expected from this story, but I'm so glad I actually got to read it and find out all the details because it was worse than I thought. The lying part, like you could have just stopped at the first part where he did it and then the lying about it to his face. <laughs> that's where the real anger came out. Anyways, you guys, that's all I got for Pickle Talk. I can't even close this jar because I tossed the lid on the floor like an idiot. So, cheers, I hope you're having a good day. Stay classy out there, stay sassy, and I will see you tomorrow.